Let's look at the EKG strips for different electrolyte imbalances. Before looking at the abnormal strips, let's look at a normal one. We have our P, QRS complex, and our T wave. First, let's look at hypokalemia. Hypokalemia is a decreased level of potassium. This electrolyte imbalance can cause a flattened T wave or inversion of the T wave. You can remember this by the memory trick. Hypokalemia, think low or flattened or inversion of the T wave. Next is hyperkalemia or high levels of potassium. And this electrolyte imbalance can cause tall or peaked T waves. You can remember this by the memory trick. Hyperkalemia, think high or peaked T waves. Next is hypokalemia. In this imbalance, we have a prolonged QT. So hypokalemia, I think we have a drawn out QT prolongation. Next is hyperkalemia. This is high levels of calcium in the blood. In this imbalance, we have a shortening of the ST segments. So how I remember the difference is hypo, we have a long QT prolongation. And for hyper, we have a quick or short ST segment. If you want more help with electrolyte imbalances, you can find information like this in the complete nursing school bundle. Happy studying, future nurses.